I know that many people have been waiting for Apple to introduce this feature into Final Cut Pro, and yes, it's here. Final Cut Pro 11 has built-in auto captions. It's easy to use, and most importantly, the transcription of voice to text is accurate. There are some limitations, which I'll talk about later in the video, but let's get started with how to actually create the auto captions. You simply start by selecting all the dialogue you want to transcribe to captions. Now, you have a few options. You can click on the magic wand icon over here and select transcribe to captions, or you can access it through the edit menu right over here. You can even right click on those selected clips and select transcribe to captions. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I absolutely love shortcuts. So it's great to see that there's a handy little shortcut for it, which is Command Shift C. Now this is Final Cut Pro transcribing my selection in real time. And this video is roughly eight minutes long. In just a few seconds, it's transcribed this entire video and created captions. These red captions show that there is some overlapping. And if that happens, you need to just adjust the captions by a few frames to avoid the overlapping and you're good to go. Let's play it back to see how accurate it is. Each service has different options when it comes to what's included, whether it's paid monthly or annually, which makes it difficult to compare apples with apples. But I've based my comparison for each one. It works really well in my opinion, although one of the limitations is that auto captions is only currently being supported in English. There are some alternatives, which I'll talk about in just a bit. But first, let's talk about the fact that the captions are fairly limited in terms of the style compared to traditional titles. If you have a look at the inspector window when you select a caption, you'll see that you only have a few options to customize these captions, and they are nowhere near as customizable as a title. There is a way, however, to convert these SRT captions to titles using a free third-party tool called editingtools.io. Firstly, I'll need to head over to File, Export Captions, and I'll export the captions to my desktop. Next, I'll head over to editingtools.io forward slash subtitles. I'll leave a link down below in the description, and I'll upload the captions file that I just saved to the desktop. I want to convert from an SRT file to an Apple Final Cut Pro X subtitles as titles FCP XML. I'll make sure I set my frame rate to match the frame rates of my project, then I like to check this remove subtitles with the length of zero frames option just to get rid of any errors in the conversion. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of other options that you can choose to turn on or off. And then I'll click generate. This will create an XML file that I can download. And then I'll jump over to Final Cut Pro and hit file import XML to bring it back into my project. You'll see a new event is created with a new project that has all of my titles. I'll select them all, copy them, and then head back to my original timeline. And with my playhead at the beginning of the timeline, I'll paste those titles. Now you can customize these titles in bulk instead of having to do it one by one. To do that, I'll first disable the captions by selecting them and hitting the shortcut V. And then I'll select all of the titles, head over to my inspector window, and on the Y axis, I can pull this down to adjust the vertical position of those titles. If I scrub over these titles, you can see that the change is affecting all of them. I can also change the size, change the font, add a drop shadow, for example, which then also affects all of the titles. So that's a really quick way to convert your captions to titles so that you can customize the style of the titles to your liking. There is an even faster way, and that is to create a template. To create a template, select one of the titles, make all of the adjustments to the style, the font, the color, and any effects you might like, like the outline or drop shadow. And then you can use this baseline slider to adjust the placement of the title vertically in the frame. Once you're happy with the way your titles look, go ahead and click on the drop down menu here in the text inspector and select save all format and appearance attributes. Give it a name and hit OK. Now you can select all of the titles and head over to the same drop down menu and select that preset that you just created. And then those changes will be applied to all of the titles. When it comes to exporting your titles and captions, titles are by nature burnt into the video. But if you want to burn your captions in, you can head over to the share menu to export your file. And then under the roles tab, click on the captions button. And then you can click on this drop down box over here to burn your captions in. Auto captions is currently only supported in English. And although this will probably change in the future, people who want to create captions in other languages right now might be a bit stuck. There is another option if you want to be able to create captions in different languages, and that would be M Captions from Motion VFX. M Captions also has a ton of different presets and customization options. You can do word for word animations automatically as well. So it's definitely an option for those wanting to create captions in other languages other than English, and for people who want to be more creative with their captions. Now is also probably the best time to pick it up since Motion VFX is running a Black Friday special, which they call Black Weeks. 
You can get Cine Studio and Design Studio plans at up to 30% off. You can also do a free trial to test it out before committing to anything long term so you can see how awesome it is. By signing up, you'll also get the M-Type Doodle collection for free. But that's not all. All of the standalone plugins that are available as once-off purchases are also 30% off with the code BW30 and there are tons of great plugins to choose from. Use the special link down below to get the discount and if you want to learn more about M captions and how they work, I made a whole video about M captions which I'll link to down below as well. Built-in auto captions is a long-awaited feature for Final Cut Pro users, but it's not the only new feature that has come to Final Cut Pro 11. If you want to learn more about the other features in the latest update, then you need to go and watch this video next.